Hey guys, Vikas over here and you are watching VR Genius. Guys, today I am again with a new video around Arduino and this is kind of going to be a two part video where we will be making a IoT connected waking scale and it will be around Arduino Uno in first part and we will be using sp 266 in the second part to publish the major ways to using MQTT. So over here I am going to use a regular bathroom scale to like measure weight so that it will help me track my weight in a daily basis. So in this first part we will be hooking up one external load cell amplifier to the exposed pins of the wagging scale that I am using and we will be just displaying the data rate from the scale in the serial port terminal and in the next part we will be pushing those data using MQTT to any MQTT server and for me it is my automation system and I will try to like come up with a visual interface using charges and MySQL to like have a visual repetition of the gathered data so being said that let's get started guys so guys this is the waking scale that i'm going to use and it is perfectly in working condition you can check over here if i press it it shows the weight and all so we are going to first like open it up and see the how the load sensors are connected so these are the four load sensors you can see like the black tips over here so let's first open it up and this actually is a very cheap uh, like wing scale and all so there is nothing much inside it uh, just like uh, four load sensors are connected to some kind of like onboard controller and all so i'm not going to open it up because uh, this is directly connected to the lcd and one battery is there to power the whole things so there is nothing much uh, and there is not uh, like no pins or no outputs where it can be connected from the onboard controller directly to our esp 26 or arduino so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, like load cell amplifier this over here you can see uh, this is hx711 uh, and it's a dual channel amplifier so over here the load cells are in bridge configuration so i'm just going to use one channel over here and if you see in the scale itself there are four pins already they, like it is already in bridge configuration and all and already these are leveled like e plus s plus e minus s minus so on the like amplifier module there i have got e plus e minus then i can use a plus a minus or b plus b minus or whatever you need so i'm just going to connect it to the amplifier board and we will connect it to the arduino i'll see like how to get data out of this scale and i'm just uh, this is actually in uh, working condition so i can have a comparison between the on scale reading and reading through the arduino so first I am going to connect the bridge or the four pins out of the bridge to the amplifier and over here on this side the amplifier has got uh, like SPA compatible output so it can be connected to the Arduino. So it
over here this is uh, like i have directly connected the load cell amplifier to the bridge and the other side of the amplifier the communication interface is having some mail headers for the moment but i'll be like directly connecting it to the esp 8266 and so over here i'm just going to use this arduino you know board and we'll be later on replacing it with esp 8266 so let's quickly connect it up so i mean jump So that's it, everything is connected. I'll just connect it to the PC. I'll see like how the code works and all. So guys, uh, this is a picture representation of like how the load cells are connected in a bridge in the wagging scale that I have used. And over here, I have used these four pins out of the like bridge, you can say, that is S plus, C minus, S minus and E plus to the HX711 like load cell amplifier module so the s plus goes to a plus e minus goes to a minus e plus goes to e plus and s minus goes to a minus so this is like uh, how the load cells are connected to the amplifier on the other side or the interface side i have connected ground and vcc to the ground and 3.3 volt pin of the arduino you know the sck pin is connected to like pin number 13 of arduino whereas the data pin is connected to pin number 11 so that's pretty much about like how hardware is connected and it is pretty simple. So coming to Arduino, I'm going to use this library web book and this is the HX711 library for Arduino and this does the job. So pretty much just download this library, add it to your Arduino and we are pretty much good to go. And coming to the sketch, first we need to calibrate the amplifier or for the connected sensors because we are taking out the raw output out of the sensor we are not using the inbuilt signal conditioners and a processor that is present in the wagon scale so if your wagon scale have, is having some kind of interface to interact with that will be a pretty simple job and you won't be needing this hx711 at all so again i will not get into that because what am i having here is raw input and I'm going to use this HX711. So over here, this is the calibration sketch. So we need to find out the calibration factor out of the scale and it is pretty simple. So I have just used like the HX711 library. Then we have to find the object with the D out and clock pin or the SCK pin, you can say 11 and 13 number pin as I said earlier. Then they are pretty simple serial print then scale dot set scale you need you can put the calibration factor but that will be used while we will be reading or measuring the weight out of the scale so right now it is just uh, like I said empty and all then scale dot tear adjust the scale so whatever weight is upon it is neutralized so while calibrating please don't put any weight on top of the scale because it will get neutralized and skill will just start from zero there then in a loop we are just uh, like setting up the calibration factor then some some serial printouts and all and over here scale dot get units prints the weight out of the uh, sensor and all so this get units uh, it doesn't have any unit actually so i have multiplied 0.453592 to get into like kz or kilogram so if you are like interested in pound you can simply remove it and it works then after that we are just printing out the calibration factor to the node of the test one and in a loop we are just interacting with the serial port monitor to like uh, adjust the calibration factor so i'll just put it to my arduino you know so let's see how it and i have connected my you know already should be visible off here. Yep. And you know, you know, you know. And you know, then this is the example sketch of the library. So just remove it and I'll put the calibration factor. Then again, I have started the factor at 10,000. 
so you can choose anything and then one more important thing is if you don't want to like have multiplication over here you can alternatively adjust the calibration factor to have the like scale dot get in give you the value in your required unit that is kz or pound that you want so either way you can do it or if you want both you can go like go this way so i'll just upload the sketch to the arduino yep this is printing out the current reading and the calibration factor so let's put some weight yep and i can press plus and like this you can like uh, use plus and minus to calibrate and one uh, like helping factor over here is as i'm using the wagon scale it has got one on uh, device display or something so you can actually check the weight in real time in the scale and the arduino serial monitor so you can check up uh, like in real time what is happening and accordingly you can uh, like adjust the calibration factor by putting like plus or minus into the monitor now uh, like i'm not going to cal uh, like calculate my calibration factor because i have already got one now one more important thing is and now as we are tapping in uh, like the raw sensor inputs from the in scale so it takes a bit of time to settle down so make sure you just wait till the on on device display goes uh, like off then you'll get the actual reading so uh, that will see in the measure dot ino sketch and that is over here and this is actually pretty simple one so i have just used the calibration factor that i found from the earlier sketch so that's why i like set a uh, factor around 10000 but you can set any and you can check for yourself what suits for your scale then i uh, like pin definition as usual that we used during the earlier sketch then over here set scale calibration factor sets the calibration factor that we have found earlier then scale dot tear as usual i said it neutralizes the already present of weight over the scale then we are just printing out the weight or reading out of the scale in k kilogram format so that's all this sketch is doing and let's upload it it's showing zero kilo now actually when i am like putting some weight that is of actually 34 one second according to wagon scale display there is 25.9 kilo uh, but on uh, the serial port terminal it is showing around 23.1 so just need to wait a bit yep you can see over here it is 24.6 so it uh, kind of takes a bit of time and if, uh, if fine tuning will do the job so that's all with this guys i hope you have enjoyed it and the coming part will be like uploading this data using mqtt or to like the uh, for me it is my home automation server and you can set it anywhere using mqtt and for that we will be using esp8266 and i hope you have liked this video if so hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet consider subscribing with it so see you next time with my next video till then goodbye